Welcome back, it's Someone Entertainment TV live on Metro Television. Like I said, Thursdays are the best days, and I don't care what anybody says, because it's a ya day, it's a yao day, and our guest is none other. <laughs> That's all why. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, guest was we are. Yes. Right. That's why you are. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, our <laughs> guest is the Kumasi gentleman with a German name, and it's Tostin Owusu a.k.a. Yao Talk. And every time he comes here, we fight. But today, I think I'm in a good mood. He's in a good <laughs> mood. So we just vibe. Yeah. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm also good. Long time no see. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> yeah, like looking at the soccer crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm growing, so yeah. at least I need to change it. But Corona, you had. But then I shaved it, so it grew back. It was intentional. Hey. No. I don't know. I like to shave it sometimes. I like to shave this one off and leave this one. Yeah. Ah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a vintage look bigger. sometimes. So. Oh, okay. Ah. Interesting. It looks good, though. Yeah. Mm, thank you very much. Yeah, well, let, let's, let's just um, start the conversation. Every time you come here, it's like you're promoting something, and yeah. the new song is Obra, yeah. uh, which you have, Roy, all the way from South Africa, and we'll talk about it. But then let's go back um, eight months ago. You had uh, a sorting, yeah. and dope song, amazing video, like yeah. the, the graphics, the, the, the plot, the setting, where you did it is actually good. Let me ask you, were you satisfied with the, how people received it and the traction it got? With the um, Aswadi? Aswadi, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, though, because anytime that I go on shows, people sing it out. Okay. Especially when I go on tour, the SHS store, they sing it out. So I feel like people welcomed it very well. So it's, it was okay. Okay. And what, over, um, I think, a couple of years ago, yeah. when you started your songs, I mean, some of your songs, you didn't really need massive promotion. Yeah. You, we didn't even see you going for media tours and stuff, yeah. but then other songs, we've seen you um, coming out for media tour and interviews and everything. What plans do you put in place? What are the strategies you put in place when you have a song? In recent times, how do you promote your song? What are the plans you put in to make sure that this and this and this is what I'm doing, to make sure that the song it's with the people. Um, when I drop when I drop new music, I come on interviews like I'm doing right now. We do TikTok videos and stuff for the mm. promos, yeah. PRs in other countries and stuff. So that one is kind of like my my team doing it. You yeah. know, mine is to just do the music. Yeah. We sit down, we plan on it, and we move. No, but I think as Nana is asking, what like how do you decide that this be the song we for push? This yeah. be the one way I need to go around yeah. to make sure that. The people hear it. Yeah. Every song that I drop, mm. I'll be on the road, trust me. Okay. Yeah, every song I'll be on the road. Okay. Yeah. And I noticed something. I mean, from um, Sorry Remix, from mm. Say Moo, um, Fake X, yeah. and also the new one, I saw that's the video, not yeah. Obra. You always have like Talk Life and Empire. What's yeah. the connection? Is it that you are on with Empire or they do something for you? Um, so let's say I'm the CEO of Dog Life Music, okay. right? So, and I'm working with Empire. Okay. It's not a label deal. Okay. Not, yeah, okay. So it's okay. Like okay. We are okay. working in hand in hand. Like you distribution or promotion? Yeah, distribution. Okay. So it's kind of like we are working together. How, like, how, how, how long, do, like, has it been now? Because, um, was it when you started Sorry Remix? That's mm. when they came on board and they are still flowing with you all? Um, after, yeah, let's say... After the original song, sorry, okay, the original they came song. in, okay. we had a conversation. After signing it and the remix came out, yeah, so we've been in for like three years now. Yeah, so. Okay. This, my, my co-host to be coming yeah, in, yeah, I'll, I'll just ask this and anyone can come in. I mean, this musical journey that you are embarking on, yeah. would you say it has come with a lot of pressure Mm. Would you say it has come with a lot of things you didn't expect, but everything has come all together? Mm. I would say yes, though. It came with growth. It came mm. with pain, joy. This music thing really changed me, like how I move, how um, I talk, how I work around certain things. It was kind of like, I said Sammy. Mm. Yeah, and, that's how I would say it. Yeah, and do you feel pressured to do more? Do you feel the spotlight is too much on you and so I am required to satisfy the people, come what may? 
No, I don't feel pressured. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't. Okay. I don't, nah. You do things at your own pace. It's not like I do things at my own pace. I just I just like to relax and do anything that I want to do and just drop it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't like any pressure, nothing, mm. just doing my own thing, you know. Okay. okay. And are you satisfied with how everything has gone for you so far ever since you started your music? Of course though. One hundred percent. You don't have any regrets? Nah. Parting away with certain people and all that. Nah. I just let's say I just realized but I don't regret it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm looking at you, right, and I'm seeing like growth. I mean what you saw you're tall, right? Mm -hmm. so, hey, now, man, man man grow, right? <laughs> In the when you started and now what are the two things that you have learnt mm. that you've added to your craft as a musician going forward? Um I think my brand, mm. how to um elevate my brand mm. and how to move around, you know. Like you need to appear different anytime that you come on set and everything. Those are the two things I've like learned, learned. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, I, I usually, I, we're talking about this of uh, that for young folks who get into the industry very early, yeah. uh, maybe into the in football circles, Daily Ali is trending because he started football very early, got yeah. the spotlight, and he slammed, and everybody True. was talking about him. Yeah. As Nanaya asked about the pressure, I'm taking it from the angle that he came in very early, yeah. and people were looking at you, okay, you drop the song, you be hit, remix, it's everywhere. He's got to release songs of the same nature or yeah. pro possibly bigger than that. Mm. How have you sat down to think? Like, does it bring pressure? Like Naya says, you write this on telling no, this song will be bigger than for you. Yeah. Or like, do you go through that? I don't go through that. Anytime that I go to the studio, the mindset is to just do music, not a hit song. Okay. You know? okay. Yeah. Mm. People go to studio to just, oh, I'm going to do hit songs. When I go, I'm going to do good music. And just build my catalog. That's it. Okay. Yeah. So you I don't mean, get disappointed. Mm. So you don't get disappointed if uh, the song you put out there do not get the traction that no, I don't. you expect. I'm, I'm building my catalog. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't. Okay. Is so how how then do you uh, measure growth? <laughs> how then do you measure growth? <clears throat> like I don't get it. How uh, how do you measure your growth that? Because you, if you're just putting song out there, yeah. then mm -hmm. you don't and you don't care whether if mm. it's a hit song. All yeah. you know is that you you're putting song out there. Yeah. How do you measure that? Okay, yeah, talk is going from A to Z or A to B. Um, my thing is the hard work, you know. Mm. And anytime I get to learn something new, so okay. it's not like I don't need to stay at one point anytime. Mm. And it's not like me not listening to the people to drop like, you know. When I write something, I have t I have a team that listen to the music. But like, oh, okay, this is fine, this is mm. good. So it's not like after recording, I'll mm -hmm. just drop it. Like yeah. I have a team. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I fight with them and blah blah blah. But <laughs> it's good though. Mm -hmm. I mean, money wise, when you release a song, and yeah. I know you're not working for yourself. Yeah. You have people that you answer to, right? Yeah. So money wise, when you you release a song <clears throat> and you put this amount of money in there, you expected to get more. Yeah. than what you put in there. Mm. So when you write a song, you put it out there and you don't get a hit yeah. and other, in a way that makes it not get money from what you've invested in. Yeah. Don't you get questioned No, the money will come later. Later? Yeah, trust me. It'd be big investment. Like, yeah, the publishing, the royalties, it will come later. Mm. And let's say a company go you come just buy the, the catalog and just give us a bag, so... That's how it works. Mm. Yeah. So I can see um, positivity, you know, hoping yeah. for the best, whatever like that. happens. Yeah. So hoping that good things come. But I wonder, you know, how do you stay motivated and inspired to keep doing music? I know that you are a young and you've been doing this for a while. Yeah. And people will talk about you. And sometimes when they do, how do you still stay focused? I don't get surprised, though. I used to get surprised mm. at first, but right, right. now, sorry. I feel like in Ghana, everybody get problems. In Tamil, problems. So, we need to just go right. and just, you know. Oh. So, we're good. <laughs> so, for you, when someone, you know, talk, you feel that it's not so personal. Maybe they have their own issues they are yeah. facing, and that's why. Yeah. But we're the problems we didn't hear. So, yeah. That's why we're there for the country. What's what the, what, yeah. what the worst thing you've heard about yourself? Because we're talking about you training on yeah. Twitter today. And once in a while, you are talking about yeah. the trend. You know, I didn't know. Right. Oh, you didn't know? Yeah, oh, you went I was asking like, Yeah, you went to the trends this morning. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, you've been on the road for a yeah. while since last yeah. week. 
Ekade, like you, the university thing, yeah. Yeah. you went in the trends. It's business. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need to train as far as we're what, doing. The, what's the worst thing you've heard about yourself? I've heard a lot too, especially Twitter. Give okay. me two. I don't really remember, but Twitter for Manoya, but like, you go to enter you. That's what I see, right? I mean, I know they get surprised. No, but which one power we enter you? Say, yeah, this one, yeah. yeah. You I think somebody tweeted I should go to nursing school or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anytime that I see that, I'll be like, oh. It's true. Yeah. I saw that. It's true. But why do you think someone would tweet something it's like true. that? He doesn't believe it. That's just me. It's true. That's what I'm saying. People got problems. Mm. Every yeah. corner person will call nursing school. Or they show. Or they show, yeah. But, yeah. but, but I mean, just before you even mm. come in, talking about depression, I know a lot of musicians go through such yeah. things. And you were talking about how people are not even focused on your health of what you might be going through because i remember some time ago we we're talking about joey b and how he yeah. was absent yeah. and he came yeah. to explain that look i was not even well True. i had to sometimes i'm not well but i still go to the studios but people don't yeah. know and sometimes musicians or celebrities will not come and tell us what they're going through yeah. but indeed they are going through stuff but is it really because of whatever you're going through that's why you wouldn't want to go back to school or what really is it um, anytime that I want to like make a decision, I think about my mental health first. Okay. Because I don't want to go in there and feel like, ah, I can't do this, you know. I just want to get ready first. Okay. Yeah. That's the, like the mindset right now. So it's not as if it's a no-no for you. There could be a time that you say, oh, now I'm going back. Oh, to yeah, school. I'll go back to school, but no. Right, right now, school is like, <clears throat> school needs it's to the like. the last thing on your mind. I need to get money for my school fees. It's the last you know, thing on your well, bucket people list. People don't believe, uh, uh, like, see, seriously, <laughs> we don't, no, wait. No, no, yeah. When that thing came out, I, I took time to go through the comments. Yeah. We're like, ah, but this boy, pal, what did he tell me? You don't yeah. get money, go pay fees. Like, right. Well, that'd be true, though, money. but I feel like, me and your school seeker for, like, you know. Your school seeker for, like, you know. I'll go right now. I'll not go right now, sorry. Mm. I'll go later. But right now, the money I'm having, I'm trying to like invest to get more money to go mm. back get to school. Money, yeah. Yeah. Doing pick hmm. yeah, 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 we'll, we'll talk about um, or brother. So, but do you have friends in the industry? Yeah, I have friends in the industry. Friends you can actually call when you feel like I'm not recording music. I'm not um, with my family. I'm just by myself, but then I need a friend to talk to. Do you have people like that? No, nah, I don't. Don't? Nah. Why? I don't know. I've been that for like ever since I was growing up, you know. I was yeah. kind of like introvert. If it wasn't this music thing, bro, I, like I'm intro introvert person. Really? Yeah. Because you remember when Malcolm, Malcolm now was yeah, here, we yeah. asked um, um, that same question. Mm -hmm, as in mm -hmm. friends, you can, I mean, count on. In the media space, um, I might talk to people here, get home, yeah. not talk to them. But then I have friends that when I'm going through something, I know who to call at a specific mm -hmm. time. To just boost start my energy or say something to me. Mm -hmm. If you don't have someone like that, then how, how do you get through stuff? No, I just pick up my phone and call my mom. You okay. Know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. I can relate. I know your yeah, mommy's not like your mommy's, but you and your no. mom are very close. Yeah, very close <laughs> you know? I grew up with my mom. Yeah. So. Yeah. You've 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 had it, but there. but try and make friends. Okay. Sure. But is it that you have any experience even in the industry that for you or friends. not personal, but sure. you've had uh, you've seen people have a certain experience and you feel no, I can't be friends. And see, I'm that industry. type, right? We can be friends, but. I will even forget to text you or call you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm that type. Acquaintance, right? acquaintance we yeah. Use friends, you yeah. have yeah. acquaintance. Like, no, I'm that, acquaintance. I'm that type. Yeah. Yeah. Just know people in the and I don't want yeah. anyone to say, oh, this guy is not on friend me. He's not texting yeah. me. You know? yeah. okay. So yeah. I'll try yeah. to like, have my space and mm -hmm. relax. Anyway, yeah. it's all good. But then sometimes you just need people to just talk to. Yeah. And that's, sure. yeah. <laughs> what was your reaction when you heard um, about the new categories added to the Grammys? I, mean, I was going crazy, though. I saw it in the evening on my road manager's um, story on okay. Instagram. I was like, bro, you're a bird, Juma. Yeah. Yeah, because mm -hmm. when we started, it was kind of like, what are, what are they doing? Yes. But right now, you're a bon team, but I would say, yeah, yeah, you no, know, like times five to get the plaque home. To me, it's like a big opportunity for us, you know, to, to, um, to get the big, big deals outside the country. Yeah. To meet new people, new connects. So I feel like, we need to go like hard, hard, hard. You know why I, I, I asked you about like if there's pressure on you. Yeah. For me, I feel if I'm you, there'll be pressure on me. Because yeah. you are someone who actually, 
I wouldn't say like led the pack, but it's a pivotal role when it comes to Ghana drill. Mm -hmm. You are someone whom, if I'm to Google Ghana drill right now, yeah. anyone can do that. You see him. Yeah. And for him to do a genre that has been recognized yeah. by Grammy, mm. I feel it is up to you to carry the mantle to that stage. Yeah, that's true, though. And, and it's process. It's not just mm -hmm. that. Yeah. We need to rush thing. ourselves. Yeah. So what, how are you going through the process? I'm just working, trying to get the, the, like, the right people mm -hmm. to get the deals and just, mm -hmm. you know, we can't do it all alone. Yeah. You know? We need to get people to connect to us connect with, with you. people and yeah. stuff. So, yeah. Because some of us believe in you. And mm. are you, are you, have you asked the necessary questions about, okay, Grammy has added us to the best music performance category. There's, yeah. there's Afrobeat, there are other things, there's Ghana Drill. Yeah. What do they expect me to do as, mm. as an individual? Have you yeah. gotten someone explain it to you that you're supposed to do A, B, C? Because last year we had the CEO of Grammy, yeah, 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 Javi yeah, Kamei. Yeah. This one was at the meeting and he explained a lot. This one mm. came and uh, educated us a bit. But have you as an artist been told that yeah, if you do A, B, C, D, yeah. I mean, you can get into that I think um, I was academy. on this space on Twitter and mm -hmm. they were discussing it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think I heard... Um, it should just be like an original journey, you know, mm -hmm. to get our local instruments mm -hmm. and stuff to just... Because I feel like... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you know, Africa, Ghana is kind of like... Kong, kong, yeah. 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 You know, True. so... We need to just have it like infusion mm -hmm. and other stuff to just make them know... Oh, what you, we are, we are okay. capable of. Yeah. And we have to document it. So whilst you guys are... Putting in their music and everything mm -hmm. because we've been fighting on Twitter since last yeah. week. Oh, yeah, with the Nigerians. Yeah, we did Olele. And you know, on trend, I am Olele. Like, Olele was firing some guy, I didn't even know. Then I open and I see that Nigerians are saying that, oh, I know this thing that we are saying, they'll go on YouTube and they'll this all of us on this thing, but I don't care. I will say it as it is. I mean, truth is big task. Yes. You see, they are saying that the drill is from them. Yeah. And I even had to tell them that they should go and watch uh, an audio mark documentary they right. did. I think mm. last yeah. two years. Yeah. This is Kumerica. They'll yeah. understand the yeah. genesis. Yeah. But then in Ghana, we find it difficult to document stuff that belongs right. to us. That's true, so though. I feel this is the time mm. that young ones yeah. like yourself, yeah. as you Step put in the yeah. music, yeah. you put in the documentation so that nobody will come and yeah. tell yeah. us right. well, so everything. Stuff that yeah. I like yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know. In quotes, I'm a piano. But anyway, one of the things <laughs> that um, I, I must commend you for is the uh, high school project, right? Yeah. Mm. I, I think that you have an audience, yeah. and the audience includes a bigger chunk of them are those in the high schools yeah. where you came from. Yeah. Yeah. And so getting to them in that space was a very, very good one. Mm. And of course, my favorite song, Say Mudia, if you dare everywhere. Oh, you yeah. I've, I've oh, been yeah. to like 20 schools this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was a voter region last Saturday. Okay. I'll be going to a big girls this Saturday. Oh, let's do Saturday. I'm going to. um. Kita at Volta yeah. Region again. So it's like work, work, work to yeah. connect with the people. I mean, you know? we'll go, um, I will talk to your manager. Yeah, yeah me too. I will talk to your manager. I will fix you to Accra Girls. I will fix you to Accra Girls. I will fix you to Accra Girls. I will go to school. Oh, yeah. 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 You go, go. You go. But I mean, you are going around just like you're talking about SHS, going around doing stuff. What message are you hoping that the young folks take away from your music? I feel like they should just believe in yourself, you mm -hmm. know. Believe in yourself. Do whatever you want to do. God first. That's it. But do you put those things in your music as well? Oh, yeah, of course, though. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> to motivate them. To motivate right. them. Let's talk about it, bro. It, yeah. There's a lot in it. Mm. Mm. There's a lot. Like, we've, we've, you've told us, like, the things, like, the pressure and everything. But what inspired the song? Well, this song, I feel like I was just going through it. Okay. I was just going through it. I was at home. I wrote this song. I called my producer, Kendi. Mm -hmm. I told him, okay. yo, bro, I want to come and record this song. It was like, cool. Mm -hmm. It was actually a full song. Okay. Yeah, so after recording it, I sent it to my people. Mm -hmm. You know, I said I always fight with them. Yeah. They were like, let's put someone on. I was like, cool. Because I wanted to release the song, you mm -hmm. know. And I'm impressed stress, but I was like, cool, let's do it first and let's drop it. So they brought in Roy's verse. I heard it. I went crazy. I think the following month we released the promo, 
Working, working, working. Did you guys meet one on one? No, no, oh, yeah. Oh, you haven't, met, you haven't yeah. met yet. I mean, he's he's one of the dopest rappers in yeah. South Africa. He's great. When I listen to Nasty C, the next person I listen to is Roy. His yeah, uh, his album, great. good, good. Is it good city? Yeah. Bad road, super good. Yeah, so good. when I heard what? No, no, that, that <laughs> is, so <laughs> yeah, bad, bad road. road. Yeah, <laughs> job. That 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 album. He has Casper Nuvet and yeah. it's super super good. Yeah. You guys working was tremendous. On this okay. is it comes with your album yeah, Young, Young and Matured. Matured. Yes. Yeah, tell us about it. And I think there's a, a, a single of it. Yeah, single of it. So it's dropping September, October. Just watch out. I just don't want to talk a lot about okay. it. Okay. Yeah, just so you <laughs> surprise us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I'm like I'm ready. I, I I like I have like two albums ready. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So next year I'll be dropping another one too. Back to back. Wow. So like, we are fully ready. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, thanks for coming. Any Thank final you. words, acknowledgement, anything you want to say before we wrap up? I would say, first of all, thanks to you guys for having me. Um, everyone out there supporting y'all talk, presenters, DJs out there, keep on supporting the band. We're still going, you know. I love you guys. God bless everyone. We love you too. <laughs> yeah, only the ladies can say that. Oh yeah, <laughs> we love you too. And we we no, no pressure. Yeah, yeah, no pressure. But mm. we are looking up to you sure. to do wonders, and we sure. believe in everything that sure. you do. Yeah.